Hello gamers, this is Sino Sarge. Today's video is focused on shrines and their importance inside of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. As I thought about what videos would be helpful to you, this is a subject that really needs a bit more exposure for newer players or even those that are currently playing through the campaign. Finding all the shrines in the overworld can be super helpful to you. The real importance of shrines is the buffs it provides as you play through the game. Many of these buffs will really help you become more successful, not only during the campaign, but also during the end game. So there's a total of six shrines, which include the following buffs, 10% gold gain, 10% experience gain, 15% overworld movement speed, 10% crit damage, and 25% loot luck. And the final one is 10% mood orb gain. For those that don't know, moon orbs are kind of a new type of currency in Wonderlands. You can see how much you have by looking at the bottom right corner of your inventory screen. Moon orbs are really, really important when you get towards the end game because you can apply enchantments to your gear. All right, anyways, back to shrines. If you open up your map, I, I've actually zoomed in a lot so that way I don't give away any spoilers. But if you open it up, you can actually see new shrines. So it'll be a green shrine shard that has a base within a flower beside it. Okay, that, that's the main shrine. From there, you're gonna see the actual shrine shards which is this green uh this green shard right here you just want to make sure the names match up right so i want to make sure that the the shard green shard uh location with the shrine those names match i go there you do whatever that thing is once you're finished up with that fight then you go ahead and move back to the shrine and then you're good i've actually finished the campaign so my map will look a little bit different to yours so if you're looking for this one that's probably why uh one note you may not see the shrine yet if you haven't completed a campaign there's always kind of a requirement where you've got to complete something in the campaign to then open up the shrines to then start getting the shards. You want to do this as you do the campaign, okay? But you're not going to get to the 25% loot luck as an example until you're further in the campaign. But getting the gold gain and the experience gain and some of these other things is really, really helpful early game. All right, well, I hope this uh, video helped you just a little bit. If it did, please hit that like button so more new players see it. Uh, I'm going to have some guides up for each one of these here in the uh, next couple days. That way, for all six of the shrines, you know exactly where to find everything that, that you need. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want more uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content, and then hit that bell so you get notified when I uh, release a new video. All right, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. See you now, Sarge, signing off.